Hi, Gemini. Welcome. I'm here to discuss mainly the Mars-Uranus conjunction that perfects on July 15th. This aspect is very active the five days before and the five days after. For you, this is occurring in your 12th house, Gemini, which rules time spent alone, spiritual progress, your spiritual life, and just what you do when you're alone. The 12th house is a really interesting house. We'll get into it more as we go. It's also worth noting that this aspect is activating the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction that occurred on April 20th. I think it's possible that Mars coming up to join Uranus after Jupiter made that conjunction is what's really going to kind of activate everything and put it into motion. But it might be worth thinking back, Gemini, on that time, late April, and what came up for you that felt new and exciting and different related to 12th house themes, the way you spend time alone, your spiritual life. And also, the solar flares in May were right on this point too. I did a video about that at the time. I will link to it here, but we'll cover the big ideas in this video as well. Basically, when the sun was here, we were having those solar flares. When the sun was back at these late degrees of Taurus and those flares were happening on the sun. So this is a very significant point in the astrology right now, and it's worth paying attention to specifically, especially as Mars begins to roll over this point, because wherever we have Mars in the chart is where we have some will, some drive, some assertion. It's where we're taking action. So it's always worth paying attention to what Mars is doing in the chart. And with it hitting such an important aspect, such an important point in the sky right now, it's worth paying attention to even a little extra. Okay, and then Uranus in Taurus is very interesting. It could bring to light themes around stability, a focus on material resources to some extent. Uranus in Taurus relates to innovative, unexpected changes, innovative disruptions to what's been stable but not ideal. So it can be hard to move areas where we have Taurus. So for you, Gemini, themes around your spirituality or the way you spend time alone, you, you might be kind of immovable in those areas historically. You may be very comfortable doing the same thing sort of year after year in those areas as a general rule. But lately, some themes around those things have started to shake up a little bit. And Mars moving into this conjunction, I think, is just going to bring it all more up and out. It is worth mentioning that whatever's happening in our 12th house sometimes can be a little bit hidden to us. It can be sort of beneath our awareness. So this could be something pretty subtle for you, or it may even be something that other people can notice, but you don't really see or tap into right away. But, you know, especially with Jupiter conjunct Uranus, that, that aspect that happened in April, that only occurs every 14 years that Jupiter and Uranus are conjunct, like every 14 or 15 years. So this is a pretty major and significant transit. So even if it is sort of beneath the surface, it's still major, if that makes sense. Even if you're not aware of it, it's still having a big impact. And for you, I really feel like this is an internal thing. It's about personal growth, breaking out of old habits, patterns, and ways of doing things that no longer serve you. You may be finding some innovative approaches to your spirituality, to the way you spend time alone that really are improving your overall well-being. You could be bringing some creative solutions to problems that have been stuck here, constraints that you need to break free of. I love the mix of sort of creative and practical solutions. It's like you're able to really look honestly at what's working for you in these areas and what isn't, and you're able to make changes. More importantly, really, you're able to see what needs to be changed. And that might be the hardest part because of that Taurus stability that usually comes in here that, that makes it sort of hard to do that. I think that this could relate to dissolving limiting beliefs, realizing places where you've been stuck for a long time and letting them go, and also dissolving limiting activities that are no longer serving you, things you've just been doing on repeat for no really good reason. And I think that overall, making these changes will be wonderful for you, Gemini. It is this opportunity for personal growth, breaking free of what no longer serves you. It's also worth mentioning, Gemini, that at the very same time as this, we have a trine between Venus and Neptune. And there are also other trines happening between the Cancer Pisces houses in your chart. I actually covered this in a separate video, an all sign video, but you might want to check that out for more information. 
I just think it's really interesting that it's happening at exactly the same time as this. They really deserve their own videos, um, but it's interesting that those things are happening at the same time. So enjoy this aspect, Gemini. I think it's really nice for you. And if you enjoyed this video or other videos of mine, please subscribe to see more. And thank you so much for watching.